Hi IDK, Aiden Baker, how you doing? Hello, Genu Reaper, yo. So I'm having a bit of a change today on my live stream. I'm having a little break from the uh, Family Guy stuff, Simpsons. I'm going to do some. Didn't study English for my exam and still performed well. It proved you wrong. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you can get good marks without studying, then hats off to you. Well done, mate. You must be a brainy. Hi Rubina, I do remember you, welcome back. Art, craft and sketching, most easy way. Wow, beautiful, yeah. I'm just having a little doodle today. And I usually do my family guy stuff, but I'm going to break from it. I'm going to go back, back, on, back on to what I've, uh, I started this channel doing, basically. I was doing tutorials on eyes, there's one there that I did. Please say my Nata, Maria Daniva. What you are beautiful, thank you. So yeah, I started my channel doing things like this. Guy stuff and the Simpsons stuff, but I'll definitely go back to it because I enjoy doing that as well. It's good to have a little break. Lily Logan, can you draw me? If you do, please do brown hair, blue eyes and white skin. <laughs> can I draw you? I don't know what you look like, so I can't draw you. People say that a lot. Can you draw me? I'm like, I ain't got a clue what you look like. How am I supposed to draw somebody that I don't know what you look like? Just drew realistic animals because you gave me courage, so it was really difficult though. Shading is good. Yeah, we're getting there. It's just the start of this one, so. It's just the beginning. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. See a little bit better. What's the, I don't understand that Nate thing. What am I saying? Nate, Nate, Nata. Uh. 
So I'm using a um, blending stub for shading, which I think is just like compressed stuff. How long have I been doing art for? It's one of the most commonly asked questions. I never get bored of answering it. If you don't know, you don't know. Um, since I was about seven or eight. So this is what I used to do on my channel. I used to do this on my channel before I did any cartoony stuff. I've got, if you go on my channel and look back at my beginning, at my early stuff, it's a lot of stuff like this. Tutorials on drawing eyes and shading. Yeah, that's right. I think the basics of shading is important to get down and to grasp. Pushing your darks and pulling your lights to create something that's relatively realistic. Definitely important to learn. And things like the Family Guy stuff that I'm doing, it's just it's just so easy to do things like that. When you know how to do things like this. Call me baby doll. Wow, wow, wow. It's amazing. Thank you. Lee, thank you. You draw a stew. <laughs> Lee, yeah, load of people. Creamy scope. Yeah, you're right too. So yeah, learning the basics of shading is important. Really, obviously, to create darks, you just press on quite hard. So this dark around the iris there, press on hard. And to blend, you can either use a blending stuff like this, just circular motions. And I'm using a bit of the dark stuff and I'm pulling it towards the center. So it's really easy to do if you use this method. When now, now we're young, when I was starting out drawing, I didn't know that you could do this. I did everything with a pencil. So I literally just use a pencil to shade, which is difficult to get the half tones smooth. because so obviously your pencil is quite grainy. But yeah, you can use this now for skin. I've got quite a bit of charcoal on the end of this. So, Thanks, Mimi. Sun shines. So you can use this to, to create some skin tones as well. But I'm always leaving some light. I want the light to stay in the middle. Because if it comes it comes flat. The picture becomes very flat if you um if you get rid of the light. Obviously, we need to create extreme lights next to extreme darks. That's what creates a realistic picture. Cool, thank you. Rafaida Rayham, thank you. Lily Abbott, can you do a shout out, please? Hey, Lily. Thanks for joining us. It's my sign to start drawing again, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get your pencil out right now and do a bit of doodling. It's good fun. Draw together. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some drawing together. You can't beat it. It's all good fun. So I've created quite a lot of. Uh, and you could use. You could also use a um, a brush. I like to use a brush as well. So I'm gonna put the eyebrow in. Now the eyebrow, you, you, obviously you can make them as thick or as thin as you want. It makes no difference because everybody's different. You don't know if this person's got a thick eyebrow or a thin eyebrow, so. Totally up to you how you shape it, how thick you do it. What I usually do then, once I've got the basic shape, Draw my photo, the pepper, please. Wish I could draw at least two same eyes in one face face, but always draw different eyes. One bigger, one smaller. Both. 
to make sure that you're doing equal sizes, just literally transfer the same shape over. So if you're measuring this one, I mean, I'm doing it, that's a completely different eye, but I'd measure it. So you can easily measure just by using your brush or your pencil. So I would literally do that. That is the length of the eye from the tip of that pencil to, your th to my thumb. Then you can measure your next one. So you go, obviously you're gonna go across. That's how I measure things. You don't have to get a, a ruler out and a tape measure and get it, get it absolutely perfect. But you can get it somewhat like. So I'm just using my brush now to create some skin tones, some shadow lines. Cheers, Mimi, appreciate that. And again, underneath, you'll probably have a bit of a shadow underneath the eye. Some people have bags underneath the eyes. Depends how old they are, obviously. But uh, just by rubbing your pencil, your, your brush, which has got a little bit of charcoal on, you can create, you can create the, the skin tones. And then in the iris, you can keep it blank if you want. Totally up to you what you do. I like to uh, leave something really, really light. So I've got my orbital eraser to make that reflection pop. So if I just use that, and again, you can make your reflection any shape. It doesn't make a difference. Just keep something in it light, and then you've got a nice reflection. And you could do it down here as well if you wanted to, just give it a little pull down there. Just to create a tiny bit of light at the bottom of the iris. Again, it's completely up to you. There's no rules. There's no rules when you're drawing and creating your own work. You can darken up the outside of the iris if you choose. Again, when, when you're drawing realistic stuff like this, then it's really important. You can, you, a white pen too. That's not a white, that's an eraser. So that's an orbital eraser. If I press that button, it rotates. These are brilliant. They were about five pound, I think. So if you're in America, you're looking at five US dollars. If you're in England, five five English pounds. I live in England. But yeah, I think we're about five pounds. So not, not really expensive, but it's brilliant. Because you can't rub things like that out with a normal eraser. It won't work. So I'm using charcoal, but for things like eyebrows and eyelashes that you want to be quite thin and defined, then it's a good idea to... Um, To use a liner pen. It's a good idea to use an, a, a liner pen. So I'm going to put the basic stuff in with my charcoal pencil. And then. And then use a liner pen for the really defined stuff. Or you could just stick to using pencil. But when you're doing your, your eye eyebrows or eyelashes, just flick. I'm just flicking so it goes from dark to, to uh, so it goes from thick to thin. Little flicky motions. And if you can zoom in on that a little bit better, you can see it. You can see it a lot better then. And then again, you can just add 
little bits. And if you want to take it really, really realistic, then you can start adding tin uh, skin texture, which is the, which takes a long time. I've done a couple of pictures work that's hyper realistic. Do you like grid method or would you prefer it? I draw with you, but use pen. That's fine. You can you can use whatever medium you like. It's up to you. It's your picture. No rules. So yeah, if I'm doing a portrait, if it's like a commission and it needs to be perfect, then I'll sometimes use the grid method. It makes sense. Cheers, Omer. You have to be an artist. Well, I don't get paid to be an artist. Well, I do get paid occasionally. I do, I do portraits occasionally, but uh, how do you learn this? I've just been drawing for a long time, and I've learned things how to do a, how to do a realistic eye. I did learn from YouTube. There's a simple method, and I've done a lot of realistic eyes. Yeah, I've drawn lots of portraits. If you go onto my channel, I've got loads of portraits on there. As well as, obviously you'll probably know me from doing them. Um, if you've watched me latest stuff, it's all, it's mainly cartoon stuff. You know, um, Simpsons, Family Guy. They're really popular. This is the sort of stuff that I started the channel with. But, but it wasn't that popular. I don't know if I were hitting it right audience or obviously not enough people, not enough subscribers. Cheers. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, man, the bum bum. <laughs> that was too bad with a kid. Can't be right now. Can you show me all drowning you mad? Don't know what that means. Now a super. I don't know what you mean by that. Thank you, the Capy man. Not Capy man. Thanks for subbing. Draw a capybara, I don't know what that is. Capybara. So again, all, all I'm doing now is pushing. Can you show me all drawings that I'm at? Yeah, I can, I can show you a few drawings in this book. I can't show you all of them because I'll be here forever. I've drawn, I've drawn a lot of pictures. Show you a few. There's a few in this one. Don't that light's a bit on iron. So this is one of my books. A lot of realistic eyes in it. Yeah, this is a sketchbook. Yeah, that way. Yeah. So I spent a lot of time um, drawing, studying eyes, and different ways of creating realistic eyes. This, these are not charcoal. 
These are um, graphite mainly. That's my dad. The portrait of my dad. This is quite an old book. I did this, I think I filled this one up a couple of years ago. Before I started, I didn't do it. I didn't have a channel when I had this one. And I did this one. How long did that take? I can do one of these in about an hour, an hour and a half, something like that. When you get used to it, it doesn't take long. That one definitely took a bit longer. All those blooming wrinkles in that guy. It's quite a nice one. Yeah, I can do an eye because when I've done loads and loads of eyes, so you get into a routine. Hey, at World Trade Center, how you doing? So yeah, you get into a routine. So things become methodical and you can you can get things done quite quickly when you get used to it. That's just a bit of messing around. That's a scribble art, so I basically just scribble on a piece of paper until something comes. And then I went through a phase doing um, Bugs Bunny. And all the um, Looney Tunes characters. Yes, I am married. Happily married, thank you. One of our chickens. I did a chicken and then a realistic eye with a half of a face drawn on it as well. There you go. Cat with huge plumbing eyes. Got three kids. Cheers. It's good and funny. <laughs> That's one of my favourite ones. I like that one. Cheers, Capey, man. And you soon. I don't know what that means. Can you draw wit colour pencil? All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I've done quite a lot of um, colour pencil drawings. Definitely. If you look at my uh, my channel. That's my eye, by the way. I pulled my eye down. I thought, I'd, uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. I've done quite a lot of coloured pencil drawing. That's one of my favourite ones. It's a weird one, but Quite a nice one. If you look at that reflection, somebody walking away in the reflection. So I've got a tear. How much how much for your one book? <laughs> oh dear. 
It's not for sale. I can't sell these. I, I don't sell any of my stuff. Probably should, but... Have I done any movie drawings? Yeah, well, I've done, like... Um, I think I've done... Arnold Schwarzenegger maybe a couple of times. Did I have movie shows I like? Cafe Man's profile. Wow. That's a nice one. That's one of my favourites. It's quite a nice one. That's my eye. Like that one. That would have been messing around. Got Jack Nicholson there, caricature of Jack Nicholson. That's a rose in charcoal. That's the goblin from Spider-Man. I uh, can't remember his name, the actor's name. Good actor. Yep, Sylvester Stallone in Rocky. Caricature. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. Ah, that's it, Willem Dafoe. The Element Bot knows all about the movie characters. Yeah, Willem, Willem Dafoe, good actor. So that one's a bit of a realistic one. World Trade Center, I do remember you. Unless you're talking to somebody else. A nice one. Yeah, I usually start off with eyes. I usually start off with eyes and then I just keep adding to it until I get a full person. So yeah, it's quite a scary one. If you look at the reflection, it's the um, Grim Reaper. So death's coming to that person. Which drawing took the most time? Uh, I'm not sure. Got my title there, Stuart. My name, that one. Yeah, I went through an eye drawing period. That was a sketch for one of my friends. I designed a tattoo for one of my friends. And it ended up on his back. Quite a nice one. So that's that. That's that one. And I've got another one, two, three, four. I've got another four or five of them. 
How long do my drawings take? It depends what I'm drawing. Depends what I'm drawing. If I'm drawing something realistic, then it definitely takes me longer. I've got a few drawings in here that probably took me a long time. So this one, this one probably took me a long time. I have to improve my art faster. You can't really improve it faster. You've got to do any anything you want to be good at. You've got to do it regularly. So I did that one on one of my live streams, but that lasted about. I probably took probably took me two two or three hours to do that one. Uh, yeah, it depends on detail, depends what you're doing, as to how long it takes. There's a few in here that definitely took me a long time. Um, so that's a famous YouTuber, I can't remember his name. Um, what's his name now? You lot, you lot probably know who he is. Can't remember his name now. That one punch guy, that what a um These are all live streams. I think I was on holiday when um when I did these. Oh, just a messy around one. That one on a live stream, I remember that one. Quite nice, I like the eyes in that one, sparkly eyes. So that's my son, that's our Charlie who plays piano. Um. So that would a good pic. I like that picture. Can you see Foxy? Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's in this one. He's in the other one, but I'll show you him in a minute. Once I've done this, I did that on one of my live streams as well. I don't drawing. I'm most proud of. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. You have a weird relationship with your drawings. When it, I think it's when I change, you know, I can draw realistic stuff. I'm, I'm aware of it because I've, I've, I've done it a long time. You know, pencil and charcoal, I'm quite familiar with, so um, I don't really see it as a challenge. So when, when I, I like it when I challenge myself. GTA 5. I think that's one of my favourite charcoal drawings simply because of this light. I love this light area. I love that. That's what gets me excited. I know it sounds weird to you a lot, probably, but I, I just love this area here. How that light shines, and then you got the extreme dark next to the extreme light. That's the sort of thing I like when I'm drawing. Yeah. So we're on a live stream. My friend Sam Pre asked me to do that one. So I did. Right, that's that. I could be here all night, but. I could be here all night. So 
So yeah, that foxy one, did you, where you asked me to do that foxy, didn't you? Where's that one going? This is the latest book. There you have it. That almost filled this up. Probably seeing all these. Hey, up at 11, how you doing? Oh, that's Foxy. I, you requested that. I think it's that one anyway. Jay's irrelevant. You have a nice one as well. Can you play the guitar? Yeah, yeah, I can play guitar. Not very well, but I can. My son's better than me. Our Boris is really good on guitar. So I've got two boys and a daughter. So. Boris and Charlie. Charlie's a really good on piano. Boris is really good on guitar. Um, and we're teaching Bo guitar and she's learning piano as well, so. Right, get back to this eye. Might put a bit of colour into it. latest one have you seen this one put it on today cheers I said time mate yeah I put this one today where Brian gets punched at the end <laughs> now where's that eye gone oh, I'll put it in the other one come on let's get the other one out might put a bit of colour into this one. If I can find it again, it's in my plumbing book. Yeah, the pig hits the dog. That's my daughter. Drew her. Last year, was it last year? Yep, last year. That's a nice drawing, I like that one. Anything from Star Wars? I can't remember. We have. I drew a um, mural on my son's wall years ago of uh, the Millennium Falcon flying away. Can I draw the most detailed eye? Well, I could put more detail into this one. I've, I have drawn uh, enemy, enemy, what, any, whatever they call them, before. So I could put more detail in this one. But I, I quite like it as it is. I sometimes like to leave them plain. I could make it a bit more detailed by sharpening up the darks with a liner pen. And it'll just make it pop a little bit more. And then with a liner pen, you could just use just to create some more thinner eyebrows. And then eyelashes. Obviously, the liner pen would be brilliant for eyelashes because it's that thin. Better using liner pen than using charcoal. You can't get you can't get that charcoal really really thin. Liner pen is really cheap. As well, you can get a pack. You can get a pack from the works for about two pound fifty or something. So you don't need to spend. That's why I like drawing, you just don't need to spend a lot of money. 
Can you draw the logo roof? Lo logo logo roof. I don't know what that is. The tongue stick sticking out. Yeah, I do. I have Faber Castell pencils. That's what I'm using when I'm doing the, uh, you know, the Family Guy. These are my pencils. Got them there ready. But yeah, they're Faber Castell. How do you concentrate for that long? I don't feel, because I've been doing it that long, I don't feel like it's difficult to concentrate. I can literally talk and draw and not think about it too much. Yeah, I'm telling my, I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing right now. It's because I've had uh, a lot of practice. Yeah, I'm not even thinking right i'm gonna put a bit of color into this just for something to do just a tiny bit of blue i have got into a habit of putting color into my pictures now has anybody got any uh requests while i'm on can i draw a sketch really fast well give me something to draw and then i will I'll try and draw something really, really fast. I used to... I used to see how fast I could draw an eye, because I got that used to it. A battle droid. Battle droid really fast. I'll have to see what they look like. Pictures of battle droid from Star Wars. I'm guessing. Right, is that one of these? Let's have a look. I just need to find one that I fancy drawing. If I'm doing it really fast, it's certainly not going to have a lot of detail in it. But, uh, I'll have a go at this one. Oh, I'll put it just up here. Put it there we can sort of see it. I can see it as well so I'm just going to use a liner pen for this so when you're drawing things like this just uh, keep it loose you know look for basic shapes I'm not going to get this 100% accurate but I'm not really that fussed if it's 100% accurate it's just a quick sketch so you want to get the basic shapes down first and uh, just keep your pen moving keep everything loose don't try and get restricted. You can slow. Obviously, it's going to slow you down if you're thinking about what you're doing too much. So I'm just, I'm just constantly looking at my um, constantly looking at my reference and then looking at what I'm doing as I'm doing it. We haven't got the full picture in, but it'll be right. I'm sort of guessing that bit because I can't see it. So, so yeah, basic shapes. I think it's got some kind of backpack on. Oh, it's, unless it's a shadow. There's probably a shadow behind it, maybe. There we go. And I think it must be a backpack. Well, it could be a shadow, I don't know. 
who cares doesn't really matter it's just a drawing and don't worry too much you know give yourself little challenges when you're drawing if you do want to become a better drawer don't do the same thing over and over again he says who draws eyes constantly but um uh, you know, occasionally you've got to break away from what you normally do. You know, I've been doing charcoal for ages. For a long time. So it is definitely good to break away from it. If I hadn't have done that, if I'd have just been sticking to the same thing, then I wouldn't have started doing the... Um, The Simpsons and Family Guy stuff. So it's really good to explore different, different genres and different um, things that you probably wouldn't have thought of doing. Right, that's that thing. Battle Droid. That's the reference. It's not exactly the same as you can see, but you can tell what it is. It's close enough. That needs to be a little bit more wider. That's it. And then when you compare it, you, you're like, oh, it could be a bit better. It's not, it's not brilliant, but it'll be right. Any other requests while I'm here? Let me do it for you. If not, I'll get off if you've got no more requests. Snake. Is that an eye? Snake eye. Yeah, snake eye. So, pictures of Snake eye. Cool, look at that. That's nice. That does look good. But the question is, which one do we pick? Which one do we pick? What's going off here? Oh, it's gone on to something else. I drew one of these uh, when I was young, I remember. Let's go back a minute. I prefer these. Which one do we do? We'll just do this one. We'll do this one, eh? I'm gonna start with line of pen. I'll just do a quick one up here. I'll just blast it out quick. Basic shape first. Again, there's a lot of detail in these, but I, I'm not going to have time to put all that detail in. I'll just cut, try and keep it simple. I just want to create a little bit of tone. We've got the... Uh, I'll just put the outer layer of these um, scales or whatever they are.
So again, when you want to do darker areas, you put a bit more pressure on. Up there, I'm keeping it nice and light. No, this stuff's a bit weird. It's, um, it's difficult to tell what's going off, but I'll just squiggle it in loosely. Might put a bit of colour into this one as well. I was drawing with my friend in the library and some girls. Look, look my sketchbook, they had them talking very, very well and was like a, a superstar. <laughs> That's really good. There you go. That's good. He's some kind of superstar Cause you got all eyes on you no matter where you are Right, I'm going to put a bit of colour into this one We've got some nice greens going off, greens and yellows Greens and yellows So what a green is it to do? Probably not that green, but it is now. Yeah, if you do get your colours wrong, you can literally blend it with another colour. Get carried away when I start drawing. Not brilliant, but it is what it is. I was put a little bit of a bit of white paint in it. Needed to be a lot, a lot darker. Right. Oh, cool. Boardwalk Ruby. Boardwalk Ruby from Fortnite. Last one then. I'll have a look. That's so you become better.
No, so I've gone quiet. It's because I'm concentrating. If I'm drawing a person, I want to be a bit more accurate. I know this is not a real person. It's just a blooming fictitious character. But... It looks nothing like <laughs> I'm just going to do outline now. I might put a bit of colour on it. I don't know who you are, but you must be some kind. Kind of superstar Cause you got all eyes on you No matter where you are face and then you can say I told him to draw that smiley face right I can draw fruit but I'm not going to today. I'm going to do, put a bit of colour on this. Whoops. I've done it again. Play pain I hate it when my colours break. I ain't wasting it. It's not happening. Not on my shift. There you go, fruit, yeah, I'll do an apple, a very quick apple. Hey up tiger. Quickest apple you've ever seen in your life. Flipping pencil drop again. This is what you call a fast apple. Fastest apple drawing in the whole wide world. 